I'm going to show you how you can set up DHCP options on a Windows DHCP server. So to start, I'm logged onto the server that is hosting my DHCP role. And I'm just going to open up the DHCP management console. Within here, we can expand our DHCP server and then select our IP version. And then we can select the scope that we want to manage. In here, we've got the setting for scope options. And if we come to scope options, we can see our existing scope options. By default, you'll likely see these three options, which sets the gateway address, the DNS server, and the DNS domain name to use. However, if we right click, we can configure additional options. In here, we can set things such as the NTP server using option 42. Now this is just an example, and then you can give it an IP address. So then now any client that gets a DHCP address from this server will be told to use this NTP server. And we can now see that that's in here. We can set multiple of these options. So as another example, I'll just set option 66 and 67. So 66 will be a TFTP boot server. So we'll just enter the IP address there. And then the file we want to actually get it to boot from, which will be boot and then file.wim. Again, these are just examples. You'll have these set slightly differently. So now I've set a handful of different DHCP scope options. So now anytime a DHCP address is given to any device that comes into this DHCP scope, it will be given all of these options. We can also specify slightly different options for reservations. So I've reserved this IP address for a specific device. And if I come in here, we can see it's got the same options. So it inherits it from the scope options. However, we can also configure additional options. So let's say, for example, a cookie server. And I'll just give it an IP address. So now this DHCP reservation will get this cookie server address. However, that is not configured in the scope options. So it's only this device will get this DHCP option. We can also use PowerShell to configure this. So if I open up a PowerShell, we can run the following command, which is set dash DHCP server. And then we can do V4 or either V6. And then we can do option value. And then we can dash computer name. And then in here, we'll enter the IP address of the DHCP server. Then we can do dash scope ID. And then we'll give this the range of the scope. So if we come back to our DHCP server, we can see the scope ID here, and it'll be in brackets. So we can set that scope ID. Then now we need to do the option. So we'll do option ID. And then if we configure the options, we'll see all of the IDs in front of the name. So for example, if I want to set a time server, I can just set option four. So I'll do option ID four, and then I can just do dash value and then give it the value that I want to give it. So if I press enter now, that's now created this server option. So if I come back to my DHCP server and when I refresh, we should see option four with the value I've just set. And there we go. We've now got a time server option with the value that we configured. If we want to remove any of these options, it's as simple as just selecting the options we want to remove, right clicking and then deleting. And now those options are gone and will no longer be given out with the scope. Again, we can do that with PowerShell. Instead of using the set DHCP v4 option value, we can do remove DHCP server v4 option value. And then we can do computer name and then the IP address of the server. And then again, do scope ID. And then we can do option ID. And if we want to remove option four, that will then remove option four. So if I come back to the DHCP server and then refresh, option four is now gone. And if I want to remove option 42 as well, I can rerun it with option 42 and then refresh. And now that option is gone as well. So that is how you can add and remove DHCP scope options using the GUI as well as using PowerShell.